Hello, my name is Ben. Welcome to Houston DIY uh, and to another video. Uh, this video, we're looking at um, a new mini PC that we've got. Um, so, I've been looking at these mini PCs for a while now, a Windows based mini PC. Um, Notice the, the laptop I've been using for both um, personal use, video editing, doing my videos now like with OBS. Kind of the laptop's not performing the grace it can do with multiple peripherals plugged in. It's pretty well spec Huawei laptop, but kind of wanted a dedicated PC. Um, want this to be a small, um, small PC, not taking up much space. Didn't want a big tower. Been seeing a little bit of. Um, I guess um, popularity of the new mini PCs, uh, Intel Nux, and then these cheaper maybe Chinese versions coming across as well. Um, so I did a little bit of reading into it, watched a few reviews myself, looked at some comparison articles, um, and, we, and I've gone for it. I've gone and got and got one. So basically, we've got the, this one, which branded as the Tricky Trig Key S Speed. So let me flick over and show you it on. Amazon um, which will be just here in a second so this is it on Amazon if I can get my mouse working here we go so it's micro computer uh, but at the moment Prime Day deal as well it's the 12th, 12th of July today so it's a Prime Day deal at 367 uh, which is pretty decent value for money compared to, to other mini PCs I've been looking at. Um, so the one this the, for the particular one I've got, gone for, there's two specifications. Uh, there's the eight gigabit of uh, gigabytes of RAM, two fifty six gigabytes of memory, of uh, storage. Sorry, but I've gone for the sixteen gigabytes of RAM and five hundred gigabytes of storage. Um, so I'll just scroll down a little bit here and show you some of the specs. It, This is directly on the Amazon page here. It's got a comparison against the other ones that they do. So I've got I've got this this one here. Which is AMD Ryzen 7. Um, as I say, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 500 gigabytes of storage. So I'm hoping a dedicated PC just for using for video creation, video editing, nothing else, what have any kind of extra firmware, software on there. Just use it for that. Still have my laptop for move bits and bats. I do. Um, hopefully that'll that'll solve a few a few issues I've been facing with my laptop. So what we'll do is I'll go down onto the desk, just do a quick unboxing because I've not opened it yet. Have a look at the device, and I'll go through the setup on on my uh, in my office. Okay, so down on the desk now. Got the box here. As you can see there on the sticker up here got the spec on 16 gigabyte 500, 500 gigabyte um, it's got some specs on the back there as well just confirming what we're seeing on the Amazon page that AMD Ryzen processor in there um, I've got another camera here set up as well so what I'll do just to make sure I get some close-ups if needed so let me just set that one up point down okay let's go for it um, so I won't damage the box too much, let me just get this plastic open first. So it's just wrapped. Simple plastic. Like so. There's a box. I think it's in a sleeve, yep, so it's got a sleeve. And a separate lid as well. Okay, I'll show you that there. User manual. It's different languages. Nothing. Nothing too crazy there. So this is actually it shows how small it is. This box is nearly. It's not even two thirds the size of the PC in there. Um, so you've got an accessories box on the right here, so let's do this accessories box first. Accessories there, so let's have a look. It's got a mounting plate there, 
we have got small HDMI cable so I'm assuming the idea is to visa mount it to the back of a monitor and you've got a tiny HDMI cable there to mount it direct, just plug it directly into your monitor without having loads of cable length kicking about slightly longer HD oh no sorry oh yeah slightly longer HDMI cable there as well so it's longer HDMI cable they're the little screws to fix the mounting to back of your monitor or TV. And then a UK power brick, which is good because I'm in the UK, which I need. So 2 amp input, output, 19 volt, 3 amp, 57 watt. Okay, pretty standard. Seems decent enough. So we'll put that back in there. Put them back in there and the mounting plate like so it's pretty well packaged it's got some foam both sides around it just to keep it protected there it's really light worryingly light <laughs> um, but it's wrapped in some plastic it's got some instructions there about when booting up saying you would please use the power adapter don't use a, an additional power adapter plastic sleeve there we go so you've got the Ryzen 7 AMD Radeon stickers on the front of it there on the back oops you can't see that sorry on the back there again nothing make sure it's got some nice rubber feet on it there some non-stick rubber feet which is quite good on a, on a desk some little screws in each corner which aren't covered up physical port wise uh, we've got two blue USB ports whether the USB 3 I'm not sure but I think it says they are we've got the USB C port on there and a headphone jack there show it to that camera as well just for an even more close up on the rear got some Looks like some fan outputs there. Two dedicated full HDMI cables, another two USB sockets, power in, and then a uh, Ethernet LAN connectivity there as well. So yeah, that's pretty light. It's heavier than my mouse, but it's light, lighter than I thought it would be. Uh, but nice, sleek design, nice matte finish to it. You could have it out on your desk, definitely. It looks nice, which I probably probably going to hide it in, in our office but no I'm, pl I'm pleased with that it looks good it looks good okay that's that was the unboxing thanks for watching so far we've got the device out now we've got the power cable hdmi cables um we can kind of just see in there a little bit of light shining through for these vents here so make sure vents on the side as well which i didn't spot before just show the other camera some vents on the side uh but yeah there's the device it's nice i like it it's, looks good uh, some of them look quite hideous to be honest with you, but this is nice. So what I'll do now is I'll take it, we're not going to use it out here, I'm going to use it in the office. So take it into the office, I think we'll hide it, I'm going to have it hidden behind the screen, I think. Um, and then the, and then I've got two monitors in the office area which we'll show you, but I think I'll do an HDMI switcher to switch between the two. Um, so someone can be sat at one desk working on it while plugged into a laptop at the other. Um, but we'll take it across, get it booted up. Hopefully everything works, um, and we'll see how it performs. Okay, welcome inside to the office. So as I said, we've come over from the workshop, it's actually the day after, uh, but we're in the office area now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you where I'm going to set it up. I've got everything ready. So I'll have the cables out ready. I've put the power in, got some power to where it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to connect it uh, via la uh, Ethernet via the LAN to a Unify Ubiquiti switch I've got, uh, which I'll show you in a second. But everything's kind of ready to go. I've not powered it up yet, but the HDMI cables are plugged in. Power cables plugged in ready and LAN cable. So let me just go around here. We'll show you where it's going to be set up, where it's hidden, kind of hidden away out of sight a little bit and go through the setup. Okay, so we're onto this camera now, so let me just flip around and show you my office setup. So I've got my camera, I have a laptop there set up, 
uh, got a Logitech keyboard. So in the corner, just on this unit we've got here, is where I'm going to install it. So I've got the PC there. I've got it connected already to uh, HDMI cable. I've got my USB dongle in for the mouse and the LAN cable connected. So the LAN cable connects into my Unify uh, switch there, um, which is all connected up and ready. I've also got a separate uh, uh, external hard drive here. I've got some uh, family photos on things like that, which at some point I'll connect up uh, into the back of there. Um, but there's a PC. So what we'll do? Let me let me plug it in um, and just kind of show you what happens. So the pl plan is. Let me just pop the camera down here. The plan is I'm going to have it on top of that hard drive there. But for now what I'll do is let me just plug it in. Okay, so that's literally the first time it's been plugged in. I'm assuming I need to press the power button on the front. Which I've done. Oh, there we go, so I'll just flick over to the screen it's connected to. And there we are. So this is a first time setup. So I'll just show you what it does immediately. I assume it'll have to go through all the Windows setup, etc. Um, which might take a while, so I'm obviously not going to film it doing all the Windows setup. Um, but we'll just make sure it kicks off first. But I can see, just looking at my switch, I've got an active network connection flashing away there, which is great. Um, I'm hoping that the Ethernet connection will give me some great connectivity because I've just upgraded to one gigabit um, internet through Virgin Media in the UK. Okay, so let's have a look. So my mouse. Is working. I don't have got English United States, I ain't got English UK, but we'll go with that for now. I don't mind that. It looks as if this might be Windows 11, to be honest. Let's give it a go though. Uh, no, I need United Kingdom. Skip the second layout. So as, as I briefly showed, I've got a new Logitech keyboard as well. So this is a Bluetooth, uh, so it's got the three three connectivities. So I've got my laptop, I think my work computer, and then I'll use the second one for this one once it's up and running. Um, although I might have to plug in a USB keyboard if I've got one to get things going. So I, I won't record this, we'll come back to it when it's, uh, when it's something more useful. That, that literally is a setup there, I've got it in the corner. You can see it's nice, nicely tucked away, quite low key, low profile, looking good. So we'll end it there for now and I'll drop back in once once I've got a bit more of a, an update on the install. Okay, just a quick update, uh, let me show you what's going on. So basic, basically putting my information, uh, the PC name, signed into my Microsoft account, my personal Microsoft account that is, um, set the... Um, privacy, settings, all that good stuff. Got to this screen, this might take a few minutes. I think this is the part where it does take a little bit of time, um, but that's all set up done. So it literally took probably five minutes for a little bit of setup to do. It rebooted two or three times, um, and now we're just at this point here. So again, I won't sit here filming it, because I don't think there's any point doing that. I'll come back to it once it's done and show you, um, show you the desktop, etc. Okay, literally, I mean literally as well, two minutes later, um, it, it's in, we're on. So it definitely is obviously Windows 11. It's all set up. Um, it's detecting. I've got a Logitech mouse. I'm going to install that, which I probably will do. So let it do its thing. Um, so you can see it's connected fine. Oh, apologies. Let me just click yes to that. So connected fine to the uh, um, Ethernet connection. That's all good. That's done. That's working. Um, I'll just minimize that for now. Um, let me go straight into this. Settings of this. Oops, wrong keyboard, sorry. I'll go into the settings. Um, I was going to look at system about. So let's have a look. 
So you can see, I've got the Houston's office, got the AMD Ryzen 7, uh, we've got the 16 gig of RAM, 14 gigabyte, gigabyte uh, usable, it's got Windows 11 Pro on there. Um, and that's about it really, so no surprises I don't think. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install the bits of software I need, so I'll install the Logitech stuff, I'll install OBS, and I'll install... Um, well, that's all for now. Do some tests with that. We'll do an internet speed test with a LAN connectivity, and I think that'll all be all for now. So let me get things set up, and I'll come back once the software is installed. Okay, it's done. It's all set up. I've got a couple of things installed. I want to install. Uh, so let's just flip round and show you things in real time, just how things are working. So it's rebooted a few times. I've installed uh, DaVinci Resolve and OBF Studio. So let me just open uh, Edge for now, because I'm using Edge, Microsoft Edge. So I'll just build that up. So I just wanted to show a quick speed test. So I did a Google uh, a Bing search earlier for speed test. So I'll just go speedtest.net. Um, so. As I say, I'm on, I'm on the Virgin Media um, 1 gigabit. Connection, getting well over 500 there. That'll probably keep going up, to be fair. Upload speed, they say around 50 gig, I think maximum. So that's pretty, pretty good there. Okay, so anyway, that's speed test, that's web browser. Uh, so I've not opened OBS and I've not opened uh, DaVinci Resolve yet at all. So I'll open OBS Studio first. So let's double click on OBS Studio. Um, yeah, I'll optimize it for streaming and recording. I do on that. Service YouTube usually. I don't want to do it for now, but yeah, that's OBS opened, um, which isn't usually a problem anyway, but so DaVinci Resolve can be quite, even just opening up can be quite slow on my laptop sometimes. Um, obviously, I'm not going to use it now but to show you, but quick setup of DaVinci Resolve. In fact, we just skip and start right now, just to see how quick it boots up, basically. So I'm just get rid of OBS. So I've gone for DaVinci Resolve 18. Now we're using DaVinci Resolve 17 on my on my laptop. Um, let's allow access to that. So anyone that uses DaVinci Resolve, it can take a while to even just load up. Um, so it's loaded fine, working fine. Let's just see what that is. We allow that access. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So it's booted up fine, not a problem whatsoever. Install absolutely fine. Windows 11 Pro is working. Everything's working. LAN connection's working. HDMI is working. First impressions, really impressed. Okay, thanks for watching uh, another Houston DIY video. Uh, my name's Ben. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful to see the product being installed, uh, how I've installed it, the ease of the setup, I guess, what comes with Windows 11 Pro, which is good. Um, so I will plan on using this quite a lot for video editing, a little bit of streaming, possibly but using OBS to do recording as well. Um, so it's kind of using this recording function within OBS. Um, so I'll see how I get on. I probably will do it like a, a couple of months after review of it. But if there's any questions anyone's got, anything you want me to try with the device, anything I should be testing, any settings I should be changing to get the best out of the device, please do comment in the comment section. It's real. I do find it really useful, people comment in. Um, and again, if you want me to test anything to do with a later review, Stick it in the comments and I'll give it a go. Or any just any general questions. Um, so I will put a link in the description to the uh, where I got it from Amazon. Um, but other than that, if you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. As I say, if you want to follow along, please subscribe and drop any comments into the comment section. Okay, cheers.